I'm Stephen Edwards and this is the Great British Chef Signature Series. So my food style, for me, it's about the produce. Food in season is the most affordable and you get the best quality. We want it like when sweet corn comes into season, it's literally coming in by the lorry loads. Etch was born straight after MasterChef. The meaning behind it is to, to leave a lasting impression, to be etched in the memory. You go there and you know maybe remember it like six months a year down the line and think, actually, can you remember when I had that dippy egg and soldiers at Etch? That for me would, would be perfect. So my name's Stephen Edwards. I'm the chef owner of Etch by Stephen Edwards in Hove, which is just outside of Brighton. The dish I'm doing today is one of our classics. So it's a dippy egg and soldiers with sweet corn, which is bang in season. The thing I love about this dish is it's really nice and nostalgic. So it's taking something that I grew up with and just taking it to the next level. I think it's a simple dish, but there is lots going on uh, and just packs a bit of a punch. Perfect. So to start with, really simple. We're going to make a sweet corn puree. Purees sound a bit chefy for the, for the home cook, but what's always great about purees is you can just let them down and make a lovely soup. Just got frozen sweet corn is absolutely fine. Um, double cream, which we're just going to put enough in there to cover. And we just want it to bubble away maybe for like 20, 20, 30 minutes. The thing with purees, everyone always says to me is, how, how do you get them so smooth? The first part is making sure it is fully cooked. So you almost want to overcook it. It's, it's like making baby food. And the second part is blitzing it for long enough. So they're, they're the two key points to, to this. The second part of the dish is the smoked sweet corn, which um, is really exciting. We're literally just going to peel the sweet corn out of the cobs. The dish is served in a little, or the, the soldier for the dish is served in um, on a little bed of hay. So any used hay, we then use that to smoke the sweet corn. And again, the husks we just throw, throw in there. We don't like a lot of wastage. I'm always thinking like, if I see someone preparing a dish, I'm always like, actually, what is left over? Is there anything that we can do to incorporate that? No one wants to waste food, do we? We want to be able to get the most out of each, each ingredient. So I've got the corn now. I've just put it in a steamer tray. I'm going to take it over to, to the oven. I've got the husks and hay, which I'm going to set fire to with a blowtorch. We want, the first of all, to light the hay, but as soon as we close the door, it's going to go, go out, and that's where the smoke is going to come come in and, and smoke our sweet corn. So for our duck egg dish, um, obviously we're using duck eggs, but we're cooking them for, for an hour at 62 degrees in the water bath. So what we're gonna do is place these in the bath over here. If you haven't got a water bath at home, don't, don't stress, don't worry. This dish works really nicely with a poached egg. So poached duck egg. The reason we use duck eggs is because the yolks are really nice and big and, and umptuous. And that's the, that's the main part of, of, of the dish. So next up, we're going to be pickling our onions. So into the pan, water, uh, white wine. Doesn't have to be anything super great for a, a, a cooking white wine. What I will say is use a decent vinegar. So the, the vinegar we use is a uh, really nice Chardonnay vinegar. Any poor quality vinegar, it almost like leaves that sort of acrid taste. With something as rich as a, as a duck egg yolk, you want like that acidity to, to cut through it. Uh, we've got our sugar in there as well, and a pinch of salt. So while that's heating up, we can prepare our onions. So I'm using baby onions. The good thing like, about pickling or preserving is you can do like a batch of it and then it's, it's a job that's, that's ticked off and then when you're thinking of creating a dish, you've got something that can bring a dish together that you haven't had to do too much work towards. And we're just going to cook them for, for two minutes and then leave them to cool in the liquor and that's it. It's a simple, quick pickle, two minutes and then they're done. So we need the soldiers, so we've got a lovely brioche from a local bakery. Just going to slice down. I think for, for this dish, it's really just taking something quite simple like a egg and soldiers and elevating and taking it to the, to the next level. And we're literally going to lather the duck fat on and I'm just going to cook these in the oven for about four to six minutes until they're nice and golden. So our sweet corn has now been smoked. It's, as you can see, it's changed in colour a little bit. It's got a little bit more brown, but what it's got is a lovely smoky flavour. Uh, to the corn and all we're going to do is just take it off the cob and then with this we're just going to heat it up in a little bit of butter the beautiful thing about like fresh sweet corn is it doesn't need a lot of cooking so just sweet corn in the pan a little bit of butter sea salt and that's it keep it keep it simple so i'm going to be plating up our duck fat brioche fingers let's just go on top of the hay sweet corn puree 
Then our egg, which has just come out of the water bath. So we're just going to discard the whites and serve the perfectly cooked yolk. So the yolk itself will almost be spreadable. So it's not like it's not going to burst, but it's also not a, a hard cooked yolk. And a little bit of uh, sea salt over the top. Smoked sweet corn, which we've just finished in butter. Our pickled onion shells. And then finally, nasturtium leaves just give a lovely peppery note to the dish. So this is our take on a dippy egg and soldiers, where we have a slow cooked duck egg yolk, toasted duck fat brioche finger with sweet corn puree, smoked sweet corn and nasturtium. Thank you.